All right, kids, here we go. So if you have a Blackmagic Decklink card of any kind and Adobe Premiere, presumably you actually want it to play out to your broadcast monitor. Now, you might be wondering how to do that. And I noticed that there were no tutorials, at least that I could find on YouTube anywhere, that explained it. And so this is going to be a super quick one, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually make sure that we are in our desktop video setup with your Blackmagic card. So we are going to presume that your card is installed and that you've installed the software and everything. Uh, and I imagine that you've done that already. So this is what we're going to assume. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, when this is open, there's not a whole lot of options, not a whole lot of options you need, really. So we're going to click this thing in the middle. I just have the Decklink Mini because I'm just using Playout. And this is more or less the way I want it. But of course, you can change the default standard in these as you like. But I like to have it as 1080p 2997 because that is what my Playout is going to be. So I want to make sure that it looks okay, regardless of what frame rate I'm actually editing in. And then when paused, I put display a full frame on video output and displays a freeze frame when not playing. And uh, the rest of it is sort of redundant for my purposes. Conversions, we're not going to bother with that. And I'm going to say cancel because I already have it the way I want. So now we are going to go into Premiere, which I already have open. And in order to make sure that your video card is playing out properly, the deck link is playing out properly, it's really easy. So we're going to go to edit. And then we're going to go down to Preferences. And then we are going to go down to Playback. And in Playback, there's a couple of things that you're going to want to make sure that you have done. So you're going to actually see all your various outputs here. So you want to make sure that Blackmagic Playback, see this little check mark here? You want to make sure that is checked. And I have it checked. The other thing that you're going to want to make sure is you're going to want to make sure that your NDI output, you might want to make that not checked if you're not using an NDI output at the same time. Because sometimes what will happen is when you are sending a video signal out, it will update it, but it won't actually play it because it doesn't know exactly which one and it can be more complicated to route it. So assuming that you're just using one monitor, you just want to make sure that Blackmagic playback is working. And so just make sure that's checked and then hit OK. And then when I hit OK and I hit the play button, you can see everything is working. And I'm just going to switch over to my broadcast monitor here. And you can see I've got a perfect playout. And you can also see that uh, this, this clip is actually meant for the Internet. So, uh, so for those of you that may notice that the, uh, that the uh, luminance is high and it should be 9.5 IRE, you are correct. So anyway, that's on me. But anyway, that's how you do it. If you found this useful, please subscribe. Have a good one.